Hi, my name is Chris Watkin. This is London Property TV. Roll those titles. And welcome to the first episode of London Property TV, a show that looks at the London property market and what's happening in the city. In this episode, we find out why London people are moving less than they were 20 years ago. We visit the wonderful suburb of Camden in this episode's local look to see why it's a great place to live, work and invest. So let's get going. Okay, this week's big question is, why aren't people in London moving house so much? In the last 22 years, on average, 130,000 people have moved home, selling their houses and buying another property. Its peak was 2002 with 171,400 houses. In 2007, 10 years ago, a little over 103,000 people moved home. We then had the credit crunch and things dropped, as you would expect, to the order of around 75,000 households moving. And last year, 105,000 people moved. But still, 105,000 is still 39% less than it was 10 years ago in 2007. So why aren't people moving? Let's find out. So why aren't people buying houses anymore? Well, it's a number of factors. A lot of it is that house prices have outstripped wage growth. We had the new mortgage rules in 2014, which meant affordability was a lot stricter. And quite frankly, renting is a choice for an awful lot of people nowadays. But it isn't as simple as that, it's a combination of things. And let's have a chat about that now. But fundamentally, a lot of people are saying for things to change. And the big thing that could change is the mortgage regulations. But let's be honest, back in 04 and 05 and 06, you could get a mortgage with a note from your mum from Northern Rock for 125% of the value of your property. And that led us to the problems that we saw with the crash in 07 and 08. Moving forward, I think this is the new style. This is the new way of British property ownership, where more people rent and not so many people buy. But if you look back at the old figures, it's just it was like that in the 60s and 70s. We're just going back to where we were before, and that is why I think this is where and is where the London property market is going to go. So that's why London people are moving less these days. For more about this feature or to ask a question, tweet the show at London Prop TV with the hashtag. Hashtag LPTV episode one. Now it's time for our local look and we're off to Camden. Let's go to Camden. I caught up with Lewis from London Residential to find out more about the Camden property market and what makes it such a great place to live and invest. Okay, so Lewis, talk to me about the Camden property market. We're fortunate to be where we are in terms of our position in Camden. It's, uh, it's an iconic location, not only for tourists, but specifically. It is beautiful around here, isn't it? The buzz, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's just a great combination. You know, it's, it's, it's eclectic. So off the back of that, you just get an amazing combination of tenants, landlords, buyers, sellers alike. So, so do, do you find the landlords tend to live here as well as, obviously the tenants live here, but do the landlords also live in the same location or are they a little bit further out? I would say probably, 75% of, of all of our landlords live within the area. Really? That's quite rare, isn't it? It is indeed rare. Because, I mean, normally in central London, you're lucky if they live in Britain, let alone in London. I think that's the difference with Camden altogether. Okay. It's the sense that, uh, you know, once you've lived in Camden, I would say, for a while, I think it's quite hard to leave. You know, so a lot of our yeah. landlords are fortunate enough to be in a position where they can so still you, live and buy somewhere else. So do you think you've got a lot of landlords who probably bought a small property, shacked up with someone, moved on to a bigger property, kept their original one and rented it out? I think that's a, a, a fair a, a fair guess at that, yeah. I'd say some of our landlords are fortunate enough to own multiple units. Yeah. Um, and in this area, you, you, you know, you can do it with the amount of new builds and so forth that are, that's bringing up. So talk to me about the market. What um, Are we talking old properties, modern properties? I mean, obviously some building in the background. Yes, so indeed, yeah, yeah talk, talk to me about what the sort of stock of the properties are around here. I think the stock in Camden is as varied as the tenants and landlords alike in the sense that you know you've got you've got a large number of sort of period conversions you've got some really amazing new build developments going up and you've got an also you know ex local authority buildings as well so okay. the market is extremely diverse okay so what I mean what's the local authority around here and 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 are they um, amicable to, to planning and, and conversion I mean look you know without speaking out of school you know 
Uh, I mean, look, Camden is, a, is, a, is it must be a very tough borough to, uh, yeah. you know, to manage because it's extremely large. Uh, and in that, of course, you're going to get a lot of people that want to plan and develop and extend and, and underground build and so forth. So I think like any well-respected and, and, and good borough, it's quite tough, yep. as it should be, though. Good stuff. So if I was a landlord looking to buy in Camden, mm -hmm. what can I get for my money? So let's start off with good old one-bedroom apartments. Again, quite a tough question to ask in the sense that depending on what you want to spend. Okay, you so could get a one bed Money property. on the table, come on. What I mean, getting? let's talk say 400,000. 400,000, for example, could get you possibly a nice one bed period conversion with a garden. Okay. But in the same sense, it could also get you say a, a two bed ex legal authority. So it all depends on what, on what the user wants. Okay, from so what sort of rent are we getting from those and from that sort of yields? I mean, yields I would say in this area, vary in between around about 3.8% up to, if you're lucky, 5%. It's not bad for this, because we're not that far from the centre, are we? No, not at all, 15, 20 minutes away. But it really depends on what you're looking for when you purchase. So if you're looking for an overall return on your investment, you go ex-local authority. Yes. You know, if you're looking for something that will appreciate over time, you go period conversion. Guys, if you need some property advice in North London, especially in the Camden area, you need to come see Lewis. Mate, you've been an absolute governor. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks again. Thanks. Thanks. After seeing Lewis, I wanted to find out a bit more about the area and what Camden's like to live in, its people and its businesses. I caught up with local journalist Dan Carrier to find out about the area. Dan, you really are Mr Camden. You're the um, chief reporter for the Camden New Journal. What's Camden all about? Well, what's Camden all about? Camden has such, it's such a multi-layered place, okay? There's so many different things going on in this little nook of London. And it, I, I suppose it comes down, it, it starts with how Camden developed. Okay, so, so in the 1600s, it was farmsteads, fields and the River Fleet. The Georgians bought us beautiful crescents and squares and the canals. And the canals are crucial to why this area is so lovely because it gave us the industry, it gave us warehouses, it gave us, they used to bring ice down from the frozen north and store them in big wells just around the corner from here. And it also made Camden, and get this, this is what I love, it made Camden the centre of the UK piano industry. Every single piano no in every single parlour was made in Camden Town because they could bring all the goods in on the canals, which meant it was always been the centre of the British music industry. Everyone thinks of Camden as live Irish music, Britpop, and it, but actually the Victorians thought of Camden Town in the same way. The other thing then, we, when you reach the age of steam, after the Georgians, with the Victorians, with the age of steam, they put loads of railways down here. And again, that has really affected the fabric of the area I live in. It means you've got beautiful Victorian villas, but also very, very nice Victorian cottages for all the workers who were on the trains and the depots and at the stations. Again, it also affected the industry around here. It, it, and, and then in the 20th century, because of the railways, the lift rifle came and blitzed it. So we started again. Post 45, you've got these big empty spaces, which meant Camden was the centre of the Britain, British modernist architecture movement. So you've got big bathhouse inspired social housing. So you've got all these elements which come together, which mean in the 21st century, Camden's made up of a huge wide range of textures and fabrics. And it means it attracts a lot of different people. What's it like to live and work in Camden? Well, firstly, I feel so fortunate to be able to walk into work every morning. Yep. And working for a local newspaper, when you walk into work, you pick up a story. Yeah. You stop and say hello to someone, they say, oh, I've been meaning to call you, thank God I bumped into you. Yeah. Have you heard about A, B, C, D? Um, also, you know, when people move to Camden or grow up here, they tend not to want to move away. Uh, Why do you so think that is? Well, partly it's a mixture, you know, London isn't cheap anymore, but we still have a really good social housing fabric yes. in Camden, so there is affordable places to live. It doesn't feel like it sometimes, but there are communities here who've been here a really long time. You know, I went to school down the road, and if I walk, walk in, as I say, when I walk into work, Every day, a van will pull up, the window will come down, and we go, all right, Bagsy, which is my nickname at school, and it'll be a school friend of mine. If I go into my local pub, I still bump into people I went to school with. Um, so working for a local paper in, in the neighbourhood you grew up in, I mean, you know, I have no excuse not to have a really banging contact book. Um, but it's also about a neighbourhood I care about. It's a place that, you know, planning applications matter to me. Uh, what my local council matters to me, how my school, the schools are in my neighbourhood matter to me. What is the schooling like in Camden? Okay, so for schools in Camden, we're very fortunate that the local authority has a really strong track record. The comprehensive, very high achieving, they have very good Ofsted ratings. Uh, you only have to look at the alumni who've gone to Camden schools. Yep. I mean, just movers and shakers. <laughs> well, you for a start, mate. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I, actually, I, I, I sent both my two sons to, to the schools I went to. Um, 
but you know, they, there's a, they, it feels very much like the schools are so ingrained in our communities. Uh, they're great for the arts. Atkin Burley is a really high achieving art school. Uh, William Ellis is a state school, great for languages, it's very celebrated for languages. Camden School for Girls just around the corner. It's very hard to get, you have to live right on the doorstep nowadays because it's so oversubscribed. They're very, very strong. To find out more about the business community in Camden Market, I paid a visit to the amazing Camden Watch Company. Uh, so what's the Camden Watch Company then? Um, so basically we're a watch brand who so is based in Camden, so we'll do all our design here in Camden, but not only that, we also take inspiration from Camden, so things like the industrial history, the railways, but also all this modern side of Camden that's very colourful and very vibrant, and that's kind of what the Camden Watch Company is in a nutshell. To give you an example, like when we, we walk a lot in Camden, we walk and it's really important for us. So we went on Regent's Canal and found an amazing bridge, so a Victorian bridge, found a nice pattern on the, on the bridge, so it's we need to use this it's so nice so nicely done industrial but really clever done so we used it like on a crown so use the same pattern on the crown too. we like to bring this kind of story it's just the fun behind it so yeah so how long have you lived and worked in camden we moved to camden in 2010 yeah, January 2010. 2010. Um, one of our favourite stories to tell people is we used to come, we used to live in Switzerland, the pair of us, and we would come over to London quite often. And every time we came to London, we'd come to Camden. And every time we came to Camden, we'd say, one day we're going to live here. We just mm. always loved it. So in 2010, when we decided to relocate back to the UK, it's, only one place, it's Camden. It? <laughs> yeah. What makes the people of Camden so special? I think the people of Camden are just so different to anywhere else in London. I think, you know, London has all types of people anyway, but Camden particularly just welcomes all walks of life. It welcomes all kinds of people. There's really no one style. It's not like where you can go to Shoreditch and you can pick the hipsters, you can go to Mayfair and see the suits in Camden. You can't really nail it down. And I think that's what's so yeah, wonderful. It's a melting pot. It's just, uh, it's crazy. You've got actors, you've got, it's just, it's such a big mix. Just, it's a pleasure to walk can you see uh, well, to meet all this? We've been here literally a couple of hours and we've seen two very famous people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Some of them wear our watches. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of them, but some of them. Um, why do you think Camden people are so accepting of, of outsiders in? That's a very good question. Camden, I think, is, is an accepting place just because of the history of it, the way it was created. It was created because of the industries, because of the railway. So it had a lot of people coming in from outside of London anyway. There were a lot of Irish immigrants, a lot of people from Brighton, a lot of people from Wales and Scotland. So I think that just kind of created this melting pot to begin with. And then it turned into this kind of really great subculture place that attracted a lot of people who didn't really fit in anywhere else, maybe. And then that's kind of just kept the ball rolling and kept on going from there, I think. One, yeah, was one big thing, I think, you can just basically dress up as you like, do what you want. You'll be just like, oh, okay, it's fine. If you go in a different city, different place, sometimes just like, what are they doing? What is that? What is this outfit? Just kind of, Camden, everything is good for Camden. So really, Camden is, is just like a big melting pot of misfits that all get on together. <laughs> Would that be fair? Yes, Camden is a melting pot of misfits. I think that's a very fair <laughs> statement. And that's what we really love about it. It's this whole kind of no judgment and everybody's accepted and you can be as rich or as poor as you like and you can still be accepted here in Camden and you can have any kind of style you can be you know from the very kind of wanting to be very dapper and wear suits all the time or wanting to be very grungy and punky and it just kind of all works in Camden. Yeah I, th I think also something important like the crest of Camden is not for one but for all and this is what is Camden basically just there. Yeah. So what's Camden given to you with regard to your watch company? So we take a lot of inspiration from Camden in our watches, so things like um, we take a lot of inspiration from the old railway history, the, the industry that used to be in Camden, that was really how Camden came about, is through all the railway industries and King's Cross and things, it used to be a huge goods yard during the Victorian times. So there are a lot of industrial elements on our watches. We also have things like on one of our watches called the number 88, the blue hand, the second hand, is the same colour as the Camden Lock Bridge, which is a very famous bridge here in Camden. So. We've got that kind of thing, then we've got the Mento Mori, which is one of our new ones, that's got this really great kind of live life for the moment kind of feel, which we really think represents Camden very well. And also the Tom Sayers. <laughs> we, it, we, for a story, so we went to Highgate Century, found out about the Tom Sayers, who was an amazing Bernacle fighter uh, from Brighton, moved to Camden, starting his career in fighting, so we had to do something about it, and we, we did a special edition about it's him. It's the stories, isn't it? The stories of yes, Camden. Yes, absolutely. How it, how All the stories story. of the people and everything, that's really, really key. That's, that's really the cornerstone of what we do. It's telling those stories through design and through watches, and I think that's what really speaks to people. 
what's it like living in Camden? We love living in Camden. Yeah. It's, again, it's so eclectic. I mean, you've got the heath that's really close by, you've got Regent's Park, so it's a lot of greenery, you've got the canal, so you've got a lot of nature. But then you've also got the market, which is like this hustle and bustle of kind of lots and lots of people. So it's just a mix of all sorts of different things. There's a lot of creative industries, which works mm. really well for us. So we've done a lot of networking. We've got to know a lot of people just through kind of hanging out in pubs, really. And that's just kind of how it works in Camden. So yeah, for us, it's really mm. a great place to live. Wow, we loved our trip to Camden. Thanks to everyone who took part in the show. That was the first episode of London Property TV. I'm Christopher Watkin, and thanks for watching. See you next time.